Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today's topic is the minimum and maximum distance between two columns. Many students had asked me that whenever they are designing their houses, they always encounter this problem and they want to understand what should be the minimum and maximum distance or spacing between the two columns. So this is just a simple design that I'm going to tell you from the experience or from the practical experience. So here I've got like two columns, the minimum or maximum distance between them can be from three meter to five meter. Okay. But this design is always going to be used whenever you are having a small designing of house or a shop where you can use this detailing. Okay. Because if you are going for the big structures or infrastructures like high rise buildings, then you have to bring in your calculation. So this is just a small example that I'm going to brief here for you to understand. Okay. So if for example, we are having a column dimension of nine by nine. It is nine inch. by 9 inch okay 9 inch is uh, equal to 225 millimeters 225 millimeters So if you are designing a house, you can have a distance of 3 to 5 meter. This should be the minimum and 5 should be your maximum distance. For this purpose, the dimension of column is going to be 9 by 9 inches. Okay. For the beam, the beam that we are going to have here. Okay. So this beam, you know the distance. And for the dimension, let me give you the cross section here. The cross sectional value here is going to be 9 by 12. Okay, 9 inch and 12 inch. So 9 is going to be the width and the thickness or the depth is going to be 12 inches. Okay. For the beam, let me write here, beam is going to be 9 inch by 12 inch, which is, you know, 2 to 5 by 300 millimeter. Another reason why we always keep 9 by 9 inches is, you know, this is our plan. I'm just giving you an example. This is the plan. We have got columns here. Okay. You know that the thickness of walls is always maintained at 225 millimeter or 9 inches. So if this is our 9 inch wall, the thickness and we design column which is more than 225 millimeter or more than 9 inches then you will encounter this problem the column size will be bigger than the wall and in your for example your bedroom you will not have enough space or it will not look you know good in your house or in your room so this is the reason why we always give 2 to 5 so that it can be hidden inside the wall i hope you have understood this Okay, so this is the designing that we usually do whenever we are having a construction of house or a shop. Then secondly, since most of my viewers are from India, I want to give you the reference of IS, which is Indian Standard 456. 
it has been mentioned in the course that whenever we are designing a house and we are having this construction of column or beam we always have to use the diameter of reinforcement as 12 mm at least at least 12 mm die has to be used that should be our die diameter for beams and for the columns for both of them we have to use 12 mm die and for the stirrups we can use 8 mm guys i am telling you and it is a very uh, you know important thing whenever you are doing the construction you have to use at least 12 mm because you may do you may use 10 mm or 8 mm but the structure will not last long and I am telling you this from my personal experience. You can also see one of my old videos in which I showed you how the structure had collapsed and you know the structure failure had occurred. So always make sure that you use at least 12 mm die because it has also been referenced or it has been explained in the different codes in British standards, Euro codes or Indian standards. So always use this die. Secondly, I would like to tell you that uh, strips, I've explained you that strips have to be at least eight millimeter. Okay. So column, beam, we have got this designing. Now, if you are designing for a structure, which is like three stories, then you can use nine inch by 12 inch column okay which is 2 to 5 millimeter by 300 millimeter okay if you are having three stories so three story structure can have this 9 by 12 inches then if you are designing for a big structure or you want to do a construction of a high rise building then you have to bring in your structural analysis and all the designing has to be done through that analysis so guys i hope you have understood this concept it's a very simple designing that i've explained you today according to the field experience and this is the you can say the designing has been used always whenever people are constructing their small houses or shops or any of the other small structure I, I believe that you have understood today's concept. If you have got any comments or questions, you can still write in the comment box. I'm also going to give you my email address and my contact details. If you want, you can also contact me there. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video. You can press on the bell icon so that whenever my new video is out, you can get the notification immediately. Once again, thank you so much and goodbye.